What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Billy Kibaki and today I'll be showing you how to dump your Super Slim PS3 Noor. Now keep in mind that this is not a jailbreak but the developers have mentioned that they are working on turning um, the exploit in something like a PS3 hen exploit. So do keep that in mind. This is only to dump the Noor because remember before in version 1 of the tools we were unable to do this with the super slim but now they have made more progress and we are getting closer to maybe a jailbreak for the super slim or maybe an ps3 and exploit for the super slim so keep that in mind very important so let's go ahead and get started right here i have i have the i have the nor nan and idps dumper and below i have the nor nan writer now let me talk a little bit about the top one right here the nor nan idps dumper now remember in my first video we were unable to dump nan ps3 uh, make the backup of the nan chip but they have the developers have done great job and now we can actually go ahead and dump our nan chips so you can back up your NAND chips now because in the first version we could only back up our NOR chip so huge respect and thanks to all the developers because they have done many work on these tools to get it this uh, to get it at this point right now so let's go ahead and go inside the NAND the NOR slash NAND and you don't have to worry because I went ahead and put mini web and i uh config the folder for you guys so you don't have to do anything and the links will be in the description so from here remember to close your antivirus and because your antivirus sometimes will stop mini web from accessing your ps3 so after that remember now to run the mini web as administrator and once you have all those things set, go ahead and start MiniWeb. Now, let's go over to the PS3. Okay, now let's go ahead and enter internet browser. Now everybody should already know how to do this part with the PS3 right here. So let me just go ahead press start and I'll delete this. And I will enter my IP address and it's right here in my predictions. Press start again and right here is the part that we need to pay close attention to so the top one if you click on the top one which is the idps dumper this will dump your console id only and if you want that's if you want to get your console id then you use the top one and the second one is to dump your nans and then the third one, the third one is a very interesting one. It's very interesting. The, the third one right here, let me put the, the mouse on it. This one, the third one, it will dump your NAND to the PS3 hard drive. So after it dump the NAND or the NOR to the PS3 hard drive, depending on which one you're using. So if you're using this one, it will dump the NAND to the PS3 hard drive but if you're using the NOR one it will dump the the NOR chip to the PS3 hard drive and after that you can just go to the to the main screen of your PS3 and then go over to photos and you will see a new image called um, dump.jpg and then you just connect any USB and save the dump to the USB and then rename it dump X but I wouldn't recommend using any one of the HDD um, HTML because 
you will need a USB anyway so it doesn't make any point so for me I would definitely recommend using just the this one right here the NAN or if you have a NOR just use this one right here or if you want to dump your IDPS just go ahead and dump your IDPS so I won't dump my I won't dump my NOR to the R drive of the PS3 I will just go ahead and use the USB stick right here so go ahead and choose whichever one you will use I would definitely recommend dumping it to the USB so go ahead and press X on this one if you're using a NOR and you will be greeted with this message press X and right here is the screen that you will get to now what you need to do to start this make sure that you click initialize exploitation so hover over initialize exploitation press X exploit initialization success now guys it's as simple as that and it's more straightforward so if you if you go ahead if you look right here it says you you can now proceed to dump the nor flash memory to the USB it's as simple as that so just go down to dump 16 megabyte flash the USB device press X processing to dump 16 megabyte flash memory to USB device and it tells you underneath the bottom please <laughs> please wait guys it's as simple it's very easy so let's give it time look at that nor flash dump operation completed and underneath it says check your USB device for dump X now as I said it's very straightforward the best thing about it is that the PS3 stays on the whole entire time after it's done the operation so no more restarting the PS3 and all that very very big thanks goes out to these guys who have worked on this exploit team ps3 exploit huge thanks so let's go ahead and remove our USB stick from the ps3 now let's plug it in the PC and there it is there is the dump so I'll just go ahead and save this And that's it guys that's how simple it is to use the upgraded tools and take a look in the back with the ps3 I can now go ahead and press circle and exit my browser and that's it I didn't have to restart the ps3 so it's as simple as that so what I will do now is close the mini web and let me just go back out here I will go ahead and show you how 
to actually redo your PS3 or start using this method I will go ahead and make a video um, jailbreaking my my other PS3 using this new tools and let me know if you guys want to see me try and patch this dump um, I used to use a type of software that helps me to patch um, the dumps when I use the E3 flasher but I haven't done I haven't done that in a long time because with this method now so what I will do I will try making I will try to patch this dump and see what happens let's see if it says um, what's the lowest it can downgrade to if it's possible to downgrade this one and if it's possible to even write it back to the PS3 but I think it will break it but um, I will do that so let's go ahead and see how that works out in the next video so if you want to see that leave the comment down below and if this video was helpful to you remember you can do this to any ps3 you want i think excluding the the, the super slim um 4000 a models i think except those one but um if this video was helpful please leave a like and please share the video and also subscribe for more so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video